Hello chess lovers, I have a very beautiful game for you played by Wesley So against Michael Prusikin. The game was played in 2006 and at that time Wesley Zo was just 13 years old. His rating was 24-11 and his opponent was a much higher rated player with a rating of 25-60. Let's see how the game went on. Wesley saw started with e4, e6 by black French defense, d4, d5, knight c3, the classical variation, knight f6, bishop g5, bishop e7, e5, knight d7, and bishop takes e7. In this position, there is also a very aggressive line starting with h4, going for a gambit, the so-called Elbin chartered attack. As for me, I prefer this line very much. But we see bishop takes e7 in the game, queen takes e7, f4, a6 by black, preparing c5 and not allowing any knight b5 jump. Knight f3, b6, Queen d2, c5, knight d1, opening up a space for the pawn to advance to c3 square, black castles, c3, and f6. Black is targeting white's strong center. Bishop d3 and a5. Black is going to exchange this French bishop, which can be, of course, a very problematic piece for black in French defense. White castles, bishop a6, e takes f6 and queen takes f6, not a good move. A better move is knight takes f6, because in this position already, this knight g5 move is not so terrible, your pawn is already protected. But when you are taking on f6 with a queen, white plays knight g5, which we see in the game, and you have to play this g6 move, which weakens the king side. Now comes knight e3. White knight is eyeing this g4 square. And now after h5, look at this. Black is just exposing his king, which is of course can affect very negatively on black's position. Rook e1, bishop takes d3, queen takes d3, c takes d4. And in this position, Wesley so came up with a brilliant tactics. Can you find his next move? Ready? He sacrificed his knight on e6. Look at this, right now both knights are hanging. Black accepted the sacrifice, queen takes e6. But if you take on e3, white can simply take on f8. If knight takes f8, then simply queen takes d5, fork is winning. Or if you take on f8 with a king, then white has this strong f5 move. If g5 trying to keep the position closed, then after queen takes d5, queen c6, queen e6, knight f6, rook takes e3, this is just a winning position for white. Black king is in trouble. But let's go back, we see queen takes e6 in the game, and now comes another amazing move. Knight takes d5. Wesley so he is just sacrificing his whole cavalry. Black played queen f7. Well, this is simple. If you take on d5, then after queen takes g6 check, king h8, rook e7 is just winning. You have to give up all your pieces. But after queen f7, here comes rook e7. This is a strong move, but a better move is knight e7 check. This is just crushing. If king g7, then f5. If a move like knight c5, then queen g3. Queen f6, f takes g6, again this is winning. But we see rook e7, queen f5, queen takes d4, now there is a checkmate threat on g7. Knight f6, rook e5, queen d7, queen d3, eyeing on g6 pawn, knight takes d5, and simply white takes on g6. Queen g7, queen e6 check, queen f7, Queen h6. Now the threat is rook g5 check. Queen f6, rook g5 check, king f7, queen h7 check, king e8, and rook takes d5. And in this position, black resigned. This is just a hopeless position for black. 
black can easily get checkmated. A very beautiful game, I think, played by Westy so at the age of 13. Your comments and questions, please. And thanks for watching. Good luck.